Hey Sawheads, welcome to Dick Saw Car Garage. Today, I'm going to show you how to solder. All I've got, I'm just, I'm not doing a chassis. I'm just taking pieces that you would use to build a chassis. We're going to solder it together. Got some of this, some tubing. This is a square tubing. This is regular round tubing. I don't remember the size of these, honestly. I think this is like a maybe eighth inch. Or this is a quarter. I don't remember the sizes. Um, got some flat, some flat pieces. You know, you might use a longer piece of this uh, on the sides of the chassis, mount bodies or whatever with. And then I got some tubing, and I'll show you some stuff with the with the tubing, and then the flux. I keep it in this little bottle, got a little needle tip. I just fill it up. I haven't emptied this yet. So right now I'm using this alpha liquid soldering flux for non-electrical applications. Um, <clears throat> Stay clean is I think what a lot of guys use, but I had bought that before I knew about that. So I'll use it for now. When I run out, then we'll probably swap to the Stay Clean. Um, then for solder. I've got some of this fine electrical rosin core solder. It's uh, 60 40. It works. I think there's a lot of guys who use the 60 40. Then I've got some nicer. Uh, this is the, the Kester 44. It's a 6337. It's 31 thou solder wire. I haven't had any issues with it. Um, this other stuff, I think, is. It's 50 thou in diameter. So you got 50 thou in diameter here. And I think this, I said this one was 31 thou. So it's a little, little thinner. I mean, they both, I don't know if you can see them, the differences there. But they both solder just fine. So 60 40, I think, is what most people use. I just had that first and then I found the other one. So I was like, I've been using both. And um, I think that's it. So. Let's just get down here and get to uh, making some solder smoke. There we go. So, first thing is we're going to take this piece right here. And I'm just going to just say we want to lock this thing down. Make sure it doesn't move. A lot of this so you guys know i learned from watching harry and george the uh home racing world on youtube and um area 51 north carolina on youtube okay so let's see what pieces we got here but we'll save those for a little bit later but let's just say i want to solder this piece right here I'm going to try to lock it down just like that. I'm going to move this a little bit closer here. This piece is actually kind of wrinkled, so it's not, not perfect, but it ain't going to go anywhere. So I want to get my soldering iron ready. So let me, once we got that there, I want to bring my soldering iron over here. And it's it's hot and ready to go. I'm gonna dip it in here, get that tip all cleaned up. You can see it. Maybe you can't see it. Let me get it over here. Get it in here. It's all nice and sizzling. I'm a wet sponge there. Wipe it down. You can see. Nice and shiny there. Good clean tip. That's what you want. And then I'm going to go ahead and use this Kester. I like it better. And I'm just going to put a little bit of. A little bit of solder on there. It's also a good idea. If you're going to solder. Do it in a well ventilated area. 
whether you got a, a fan going or um, a carbon filter. Some people have little fans right here with little carbon filters and it kind of sucks the fumes. Mine's going up and out right now, so I'm good. And anyway, so we're going to come over here. I'm going to do this left-handed. Even though I'm right-handed. Get some of that in there. Like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and stick this soldering iron. We're going to hear it. Here it sizzle. We're gonna get all that hot. You want the soldering, you want the, the thicker part of the soldering iron on the thicker metal, which would be this square tubing, because that flat little piece will heat up pretty quick. So we got some solder on there. And we're just gonna drag that solder and it just it's like it wicks in. boom well as long as you get that hot you hear the sizzle and just wait a few more seconds stick that solder in there just a little bit and you can just drag your iron and um and solder together so another thing you want to come back over here a lot of i mean it doesn't really you don't have to do it like every time i just in the habit of doing it the cleaner the better just like cleaning your brass which most of the stuff i'd clean beforehand but which is probably going to be hot it gets hot fast but it cools pretty fast too so it's it's all soldered there and the extra you can pick a flap wheel or whatever you need to you can uh clean that up with but it's a nice nice solid joint right there i mean good good solid joint and then uh, another thing that we can do let's just say we want to take another piece of this or you want to put a bumper on a car like this is just a piece of scrap you can stick this in here however you wanted to do it Stick some blocks in there. Get your iron. Or I'll even I'll use the other the other stuff now, the thicker stuff. Put a little solder on there. Take that. Stick it up in there. This is gonna wick itself down in there. So another good tip that I can tell you, if you're going to do stuff like this, you need to make sure that the ends of the brass is open because all that heat and that, the pressure, the steam will build up and it'll go boom. So just make sure your tubing is, uh, is, is open so like this tubing here is it's open on both sides so if i'm going to take this and solder it solder it here i don't want this capped off on the end it'll go poof and you can drill like a small vent hole if you need to but if you if it's sealed off it'll go boom so anyway that in there that's all that's all soldered I mean, and like I said, easy to clean up. Flap wheel. I even have, I have a piece of this in here. Yeah, I do. So cleaning your brass, even before you solder, this is a good idea to, to do that. Which I did that prior to some of this. So another thing, um, let's see here, uh, is alcohol. With some IPA, put it on like a on a microfiber cloth after you sand it down. You know, let's just say I want to solder this piece of tubing to 
this tubing. There's another thing. I don't know if y'all are able to see that or not, but I put what's called a fish mouth on this tube right here. And so what I'm going to do is solder that onto this tube. And that's a nice, nice joint. You can go a little deeper. I didn't go that deep. You don't really have to go that deep, but you can do it this way. Another way is you can do the fish mouth and then drill, drill a hole in here and then put a smaller tube that'll fit inside the fish mouth, put that in there and then put this over and it makes a nice rigid, rigid joint in there. So, but I'm just going to show this right here. I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory drilling a, drilling a hole in there and putting that in there and then soldering it all together. Um, but I just want to show this. And so how I did that fish mouth, I hope y'all can see that. How I did that fish mouth was with these right here. They look like little end mills. I took this longer one right here and put it in my uh, Dremel. And, uh, oops, wrong piece. There we go. And just set that in there to get me a nice, nice little fish mouth. I don't remember where I got these and what these came in. Probably some, some kit, some Dremel kit, I assume. Later, I got them at A to Z tools. We have an A to Z store that has like bargain tools. And so that's where I got a lot of my little drill bits and stuff for uh, um, my slot car stuff. But anyway, rambling on. So there's that piece. There's that little piece on there. Like I said, I mean, it's it's there. It's not, not going anywhere at all. It's stuck. Now, as far as for this fish mouth, what I want to do, I just want to take a little bit of flux and put on the inside of that. And I'm going to use a jig here. And I'm going to just kind of hold everything, hold everything steady so it doesn't move around on me. We're going to use, we'll go to this end. This and I got some more pegs over here, but you can get this um, jig board. I got mine a slot car corner. Um, I think they sell the individual pegs, which I'm pretty sure I bought more. Um, I have another one of these. It's probably about half this size. I got it off of uh, Amazon. And then, uh, so anyway, I'm going to put some flux around that joint. I got it on the inside and on the outside. I want to take my soldering out over here. I'm going to stick it back in here, which I already did it, but do it again. Clean that up. A little bit of flux on the end of my iron. And then I'm going to touch both of these right here. I'm going to stick the solder in there. Just kind of work it around, make sure Make sure it all gets in there. Goes all the way around. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and put this back in there so it doesn't just sit in here hot and just cook with that stuff on there, with the solder on there. It'll turn black and get nasty. So you can see. If you see it, look up here, it's all like dark and stuff. I don't use that end. I only use this end right here. So that's the, keep that all nice and shiny. All right. So should be able to take this off right here. Boom. Nice, secure, secure joint. Now, if you wanted to, you can see it there, but on this back side. Which it, it's soldered, it just didn't seep all the way through this side. If you did feel like it, you could go flip it over and put it on this side, which it's, it's going to get this stuff hot again. So it's kind of just up to you. But I mean, it's there. 
it is a good solid joint to make it even stronger like i said you can drill a hole in this tube stick you a solid piece or a smaller piece that fits inside this it's you know the next size down for this diameter to go inside and then you solder all three of them together and it'll make a real solid even more rigid than what this is like this right here if you built a slot car for whatever reason with something like this you know if you're building like a roll cage or whatever and you were doing the the fish mouth to make it really look like a nice uh um maybe like tig welded you know whatever roll cage um that would look real nice but it would still this would be you could probably wreck this off your table and it'd be just fine all right so what i'm trying to do here is get y'all just a close-up of the solder and the brass there so what i'm going to do is i want to make sure i got flux all the way across it and the end and then make sure my soldering iron's ready make sure the tip's nice and clean put a little um solder on the tip there and then we're gonna get that nice and hot the solder is starting to wick we're just gonna let it flow all the way to the end. I'm oh, pushing on my deal there. And the other side of it. Make sure it's hot. And you run it back there and just make sure you smooth it out if you want. But sure it's all there. That's it. That is it. Hopefully y'all kind of saw the effect there of how that how that works so you know these little ends those does get freaking hot and that's going to be hot too but you can see how that that joint there it is it is soldered don't worry about how ugly it looks that's you can clean it honestly the less solder you can use the better as long as you can Get the solder from one side to the other drag it across i mean that's pretty damn good joint so and it's even wicked through the bottom so that's soldered from all the way to the top all the way to the bottom so i didn't really go over it at first because i kind of like already pre-cleaned everything but i got this scotch bright here and you can just pick and clean it you can use a flap wheel which i got flap wheels and i use it i mainly use it to clean with like clean off excess solder buff something out but you can take this scotch bright i don't know if you can see the difference between here and here that's pretty clean then i would take uh microfiber cloth it doesn't have to be microfiber you can paper towels if you want to but put some ipa on it wipe it all up good to go now that'll be a really nice clean joint to solder to so between this and this right here inside there or this joint i mean it should be should be well on your way making a slot car because i feel like that's mostly what you're doing whether you're doing a, a motor mount i can show you on my car here this motor mount bracket here i mean you're literally just laying it flat you lay in the the tubing up against it using your jig and then you're putting your flux on there and uh just soldering it down once you get your your motor bracket in there and your uh, guide plate whether you use this or the, there's a skinnier one or you make your own um, you can see these basically that's what this is was is right here so 
I mean, it's uh, pretty easy. Now I've got some solder that I still need to clean up, make it look prettier. Tubing, which see on here, I didn't do the, I didn't do the fish mouth on uh, those joints. So I could have made this joint stronger just by adding the fish mouth, which this is, um, this is pretty strong here. I'm not even gonna, it ain't gonna fall apart or nothing, but I could have made it look better as I throw it across the room, but I could have made this look better if I did this. So saw heads, that was, uh, that was soldering, soldering some brass. Um, between, you know, soldering some flat pieces to some square tubing, soldering a tube, a round tube in the end of a square tube, some more, those flat pieces, or doing, uh, you know, fish mouth, make you, I don't know, whatever you want to make, roll cages and all kinds of stuff. Um... It's fun. I like doing it. You can end up with, you know, simple chassis like this. Or, you know, something like this. Which, this still isn't as... This is all beginner stuff. All beginner stuff. This was my very first start. Very first chassis. This is my, my second go around. So... Once you start playing with it, making stuff, you know, I've got scrap down there just messing around. So, uh, let's get to soldering. It's easy stuff. Just remember the safety. It's hot. Burn yourself. You can burn through your wire. Um, the fumes. Try to, uh, keep the fumes down. And, uh, well, be, you know, you know, well, a well ventilated area. And, uh, should be good to go. Don't be scared of it. Another thing is, is uh, you go check out conquestlayer.com. Get all your uh, slot car needs. Get you some stickers with all our cool YouTubers on there from Slot Avengers. Let's see, we got uh, Shotgun Dave, Marty at Two Lines. We got Raul at Conquest, George at Area 51 Raceway, Massimo, MP, uh, MP, and then uh, me. Fix lock our garage. So uh go check it out. Got all kinds of t-shirts and different merch. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you slot heads.